Community manager for Compulsion Games recently said she hates gamers. This comes just two years after she made derogatory comments about white male gamers in an interview with Refinery29. Before we get into this, I'd like to ask you to please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos here at The Trent Report. I wrote this up over at thatparkplace.com. And Compulsion Games community manager Katie Robinson recently claimed this on X I Hate Gamers. This was brought to public attention by X user Screamer RSA and further highlighted by former World of Warcraft team lead Mark Kern. Uh, Robinson announced she was the community manager for Compulsion Games back in September 2023. Uh, since she has locked her account on X, I uh, went to Instagram and this is her Instagram post. Uh, that she posted, I'm happy and proud to announce that I've joined the amazing team at Xbox's very own Compulsion Games as their new community manager. That's right, Compulsion Games is owned by Xbox Games Studios, which is owned by Microsoft. She goes on and says, after spending nine plus years in the gaming space as a content creator, I'm excited to begin my journey and make an impact on the other side of the industry. As for her post about gamers, this is what she wrote back on February 14th. You can see right there. Honestly, I hate gamers. As I said, brought to public attention by Screamer RSA and then further highlighted by Mark Kern. And the reason why it was brought to public attention is because it was resurfaced after Kern shared information he allegedly received from a former Compulsion Games developer that the company had changed the race of its main character for their upcoming South of Midnight game after it hires Sweet Baby Inc. as a consultant. This is what Kern posted on X. Uh, after Sweet Baby Inc. was brought on board Compulsion Games south of Midnight, the main character was race swapped from white to black. He also shared a side-by-side -side of the alleged race change and wrote this. The main character of Hazel was swapped shortly after Sweet Baby Inc. involvement from white to black. And then you can see kind of uh, the, the, the character changes there. It also comes in the wake of Compulsion Games supporting Crystal Dynamics' trigger warning for Tomb Raider 1 through 3 Remastered. So I'm not exactly sure what a community manager's role is, but it's possible that this could have been written by Katie Robinson. But this is the trigger warning, or sorry, the Compulsion Games' response to this trigger warning. Obviously, she doesn't work for Crystal Dynamics, so she wouldn't have written this, but she might have written the response, which we'll get to. But this is what the trigger warning said for uh, Tomb Raider 1 through 3 Remastered. The, game, the games in this collection contain offensive depictions of people and cultures rooted in racial and ethnic prejudices. These stereotypes are deeply harmful, inexcusable, and do not align with our values at Crystal Dynamics. Rather than removing this content, we have chosen to present it here in its original form, unaltered in the hopes that we may acknowledge its harmful impact and learn from it. And Compulsion Games responded to this... Um, Trigger warning, writing this on X. Many video games are a product of the times they were created in. As we look to recreate and remaster these stories for modern audiences, it's important to consider the implications of these harmful portrayals and do our part to rewrite new history, not repeat it. So Compulsion Games wants to rewrite new history. I'm not really sure exactly what that means, but it sounds like they just want to rewrite history. And then they... they they cheered on Crystal Dynamics. It says, we applaud our peers at Crystal Dynamics for their reflections and corrections, except that Crystal Dynamics had nothing to do with the original Tomb Raider games that was developed by Core. So uh, so there is that. I'm not sure if she was involved in that or not, but uh, that is what Compulsion Games posted on X on February 13th. A day later, she posted she hates gamers. So to her personal. So. Possibly connected. Possibly connected. Seems like too much of a coincidence for me. But if we go back to 2022, Robinson did an interview with Refinery29 where she admitted to posting to social media, quote, white male gamers were a mistake. This is what she told the outlet. You're not going to tickle some people's fancy being outspoken or tweeting things like I do when I say white male gamers were a mistake. I like to think that my kind of presence acts as a way to kind of show people like, hey, you can be outspoken. You can have a backbone and stand for something and still be successful. Well, I don't really know what she's standing for, but uh, clearly it does seem like she is finding a modicum of success. She now works for a video game developer and is their community manager, despite holding these abhorrent views.
And that's what they are. Abhorrent views. White male gamers are a mistake. She's proud of that. Something she's proud of posting. And this is who Compulsion Games hired. Remember, this is Xbox Game Studios. This is owned by Xbox Game Studios. Owned by Microsoft. These are the types of people that Microsoft is hiring. People that say white male gamers were a mistake. Absolutely disgusting and sick. And straight evil. Just absolutely evil. Morally wrong. But that's not all. Later in the interview, while discussing Twitch demographics, she detailed the streaming platform's demographics are, quote, really just a greater reflection of the society at large outside of gaming. I mean, we see who sits at the top of society in general. It's that and also subconscious bias and subconscious racism. When most people think about gaming, they have one image in mind, and it's probably some white guy. So it looks like she's has some prejudice towards white people. Just looks like it. She wanted to inform the ally. If somebody white says, I have this apprehension going to a space where there's black people, that ends up being rooted in something more sinister. And that's when you have to take a look at yourself and ask yourself, why do you feel that way? I wonder if she asked her herself that. Why does she, did she look at herself and did she ask why she feels that way when she makes comments like white male gamers were a mistake? I'm going to guess she doesn't. I don't think she takes her own advice. I'm going to guess she doesn't. She also shared that one of her goals for the homepages of YouTube and Twitch is to have, quote, black folks, folks who are queer, trans, brown, disabled, and not be outnumbered by cisgender white people, especially white men, and not just during a specific Black History Month or Women's History Month at any time of the year. So she uh, wants the top streamers on YouTube and Twitch to be black folks, folks who are queer, trans, brown, disabled. And she does not want them to be outnumbered by uh, straight white people, especially white men. So again, looks like she is prejudiced against uh, white people and specifically prejudiced against white men. And this, again, is the type of person that Compulsion Games hired. This is a public interview on Refinery29. I, I highly doubt they did not know that this is who they were hiring. And Compulsion Games, again, is owned by Xbox Game Studios which is owned by Microsoft. And this is the individual that they hired to be their community manager. Someone who has said white male gamers were a mistake. I wonder what kind of communities she will be managing with thoughts and prejudices like that. Uh, all I know is I will not be doing business with anything uh, that Compulsion Games produces. I likely will not be doing any business with Xbox Game Studios. And I will not be doing business with Microsoft Gaming. But uh, those are just my thoughts on the matter. Let me know what you guys make of this. Let me know in the comments below. Remember to always be charitable, but to always speak the truth.